So a lot of car manufacturers these days are focusing on electric vehicles. And what you see over here is the all new MG Corbin. This is the second electric vehicle from MG. And today we are finally driving it. And hi, and welcome to Drive Spark. I'm Prameet. And let's quickly start this video so I can tell you everything you need to know about this all new electric vehicle. So before I start talking about the design of the car, let me tell you that this particular uh, MG Comet will be available in a single variant and that is what we know as of now. Uh, as far as the color option goes, you can see that this is a very vibrant color. This is called the Candy Apple Green. And apart from this, it is also available in four other shades. So in total, you get five shades, one variant, and let's start off with the front end now. So what you see over here is a very boxy kind of a design. Uh, plus. A few things that have been added, you can see this electric blue accent. Uh, below that is the DRL, it's the Infinity DRL, looks really nice. Uh, just below that, you have your charging socket, this also glows. So the MG that is written over here glows and that looks really fantastic. To charge it, you just need to press this button and the charger will open up. It's a soft touch, you can plug it in, it'll charge after you've done charging. Just hit this one more time and you are good to go. Uh, you can see it gets all LED lighting that includes uh, high beam, low beam uh, that is present in LED over here. And the cluster is really compact. Plus, you can see over here, this looks like a daytime running light, but actually these are the indicators. And over here, you see a grill that uh, allows uh, air to pass through and cool down all the battery and the system uh, and the motor as well. Now, one more thing, let me point out. You can see over here, now this looks like a front parking camera, but this is a dummy as of now. Going further, MG has said that they might introduce a front parking camera. But as of now, what you see over here, it looks like a camera, but it is a dummy. And let me show you one more thing. There is a small hood place also. And the hood is just this much. And if you look over here, you can see you have your wiper washer fluid, your brake oil, your battery, a small hood that I mean, you don't have a lot of access, but you can obviously check out a lot of things over here. And to close it, that's about it. So that's the front profile. Now let's move on to the side. So now this is the side profile of the Comet. And here you can find a few things uh, that are really interesting. First of all, you have this electric badge over here. You get a dual tone paint scheme that you see over here. You get the roof in black and uh, you get chrome on the door handles. The rest of the part, you don't get chrome anywhere except you can see that the chrome line runs from the ORVM, goes across the car and gives it a really fantastic look from the front end. Uh, this is the door. There's a request sensor over here and it's a single door. Obviously, it's a big door, you can see. So, and obviously it has a big window. Uh, blacked out ORVM. So, you do not get a 360 degree camera feature, but uh, you, what you get over here is an integrated indicator, obviously LED, and you get these 12 inch steel wheels though they look like alloy when the car is rolling because they have this aero cover on top uh, again looks really futuristic and fantastic and a few specifications about the car first of all the length that we see over here is just under three meters and the wheelbase is just over two meters so i mean that creates a lot of space i'm six one can see and four people of my size can fit easily inside the car and go around the city obviously it will be a little cramped but it will not be claustrophobic because of these windows that you see over here obviously they do not open but the cabin inside uh, feels much more airy and obviously the passengers who are sitting behind will feel less claustrophobic so now let's move on to the rear section so this is the rear section of the comet and first things first this gets a small spoiler over here and you can see an LED stoplight. But the very weird thing is that, I mean, I've never seen it uh, like this. You can see that the, the, there are rear defoggers, but there are like three lines of it. So, I mean, only this part, I think from the rear view mirror, you can just see this part. So only this uh, part has the rear defoggers. Other than that, you get uh, infinity tail light. Again, looks fantastic. You get a chrome strip. MG badging, Comet badging, internet inside that you have been seeing on MG cars. Now you have an EV badge, obviously, since this is an EV. And you can see you have this kind of a smoked out effect on the tail light that looks really nice. Plus, you get some reflectors and parking sensors. Also, you get a rear parking camera with adaptive guidelines and the quality of the image is really nice that will help you uh, park this small car in tight spaces very easily now let's move on to the boot to open the boot you have a request sensor and the very first thing you notice once i open the boot the tail light will light up so this is the boot i mean yeah you can sort of call it a boot because 
there is no space actually it's approximately 50 meters and you can see you have the charging uh, socket over here with the charging cable and you have your uh, tire puncher repair kit over here now 50 50 split seat if you want more space just pull this seat will go down if you're three people sitting if you're two people sitting obviously you can fold on get uh, get your luggage sorted over here and once you're done just lift it up and let me tell you that the boot lid is not that light so this sums up the rear end now let's go inside and check out what all features that the all new comet have to offer so now moving on to the inside you first of all open this door and i'll be sitting behind so you have to do a little trick over here this seat tumbles down and you can just enter this is how the rear seating looks like i'm 6'1 uh, for reference let me move on to that side because this seat is adjusted according to my height and after that also you can see you can tuck your legs inside your legs do touch it but uh, the backrest of this seat is not that hard so obviously your leg will make space it's slightly cramped but as i told you because of these windows out here the cabin looks really really airy it's a i mean it looks like a very big cabin uh, overall very comfortable seats for uh, short city runs it is absolutely perfect and it has decent amount of headroom as well uh, you have no features on the rear section so now let's go to the front end and i'll tell you more about that so now moving on to the front seat and as i told you this seat was adjusted according to my height you look when you're sitting in the cabin or the front seat of the mg common now let me start off with the dashboard now very first thing you'll notice that there is uh, not soft touch leather but there is fabric upholstery on the dashboard plus there is a uh, soft touch material so we're talking about the dashboard so yeah it's hard plastic but everything is integrated so neatly you have some amount of storage space there is no glove box over here but you can see that there's some amount of space your ac controls are here your uh, um, sport mode eco mode and normal mode button is over here very minimalistic um, you have two screens yes you have two screens both are 10.25 and 10.25 the instrument cluster uh, features wireless apple carplay android auto and i mean it is just fantastic the amount of features that this car has to offer is just fabulous also you have your fully digital instrument cluster that again hosts a lot of information about the car uh, plus you have the steering wheel it's not a flat bottom steering wheel. it's a two spoke steering wheel it's a very small and funky looking steering wheel again just like the car you have a steering wheel on the controls that are neatly integrated and the steering wheel can only be adjusted for tilt there is no telescopic adjustment but i mean still it will work this is your gear selector you have your uh, rnd and for park you have this manual handbrake your ac window controls are over here so you have the driver's side that is a one touch down and it's a one touch up but the passenger side is a manual one uh, again the rear windows do not open uh, and again uh, below the ac console you can see you have a charging sockets over here it's a uh, type a type a there is no type c oh no there is no type c and you also have hooks that you can see that deploy like this so you can like ha, hang something and you have a 12 volt charging socket over here just below the gear selector uh, talking about the seats they are really really comfortable i mean uh, once again i'm just mentioning i'm 61 and you can see the amount of headroom that i've got over here plus the seat is very comfortable so you just sink in with the seat there is no seat height adjuster but again it will do i think this is the maximum the seat can go behind also so you can see that a six feet guy will be sitting and driving the car like this so it's a very good driving position and the windscreen is also very wide so you have a good view of what's going on on the outside plus you have this orvm that has manual dimming inside it and again a few features you have your light over here this is where your hazard light button is it's a very weird place obviously you'll also take some time to find out but since we have told you now you know that it is over here the passenger as well as the driver gets vanity mirrors and yeah that's i think that sums up the front end so now let's quickly drive the car and I'll tell you how the MG Comet is to drive on the city roads. So now we're sitting at the driving seat of the all new MG Comet. And first things first, let me give you a quick uh, engine brief. Sorry, there is no engine. Let me give you a quick uh, motor brief of this. This produces 42 PS of power and 110 Nm of peak torque. 
and obviously there is no gearbox but there is a gear selector of course as far as the power is concerned uh, first of all you get three modes eco uh, normal and sport so in the eco mode the throttle response is slightly laggy in the normal you would drive it in a regular city i mean we'll recommend you to drive it in the normal mode in the city and when you want to have a little bit of fun you can put it on sport mode and the acceleration really becomes crisp and uh, that is when so right now we'll just put it on sport so on eco so now we are doing a 20 and i'll just floor it there we go 40 50 60 70 80 90 and we hit the 80 km mark so yeah i mean it's not a slow car uh, though people have the misconception still they have the misconception that electric cars are slow and they have charging problems and all that speaking about charging problems uh, so you want to know how much does mg claim so mg claims around 230 km on a single charge but uh, speaking about the real life scenario you will get close to around 160 to 170 km depending upon the traffic depending upon where you stay the climate everything basically factors in when you're driving an electric vehicle so uh, there's one more thing there are three levels of region since this is an electric vehicle so the three levels of region uh, are uh, low medium and high overall it is a very good car it's a very spacious car talking about space i am 61 there's only one problem that i'm facing though this is a very wide windshield i mean the visibility is absolutely fantastic you also have some quarter panels cut on either side that basically helps you uh, look when you're taking a corner or when you're taking a turn but uh, since i'm tall and the irvm is kind of obstructing the view uh, there is a blind spot right here and this seat does not have a seat height adjuster so i think that is one of the major drawbacks this should have the driver side should have had a seat height adjuster other than that fantastic car the steering wheel is just awesome it is perfect for city driving it's light at the same time it's heavy it's like it's somewhere in between you have steering mounted controls as i mentioned they control the both the screens and uh, as far as braking is concerned so yeah so braking is excellent i'll do a quick demonstration so we are doing a 50 and yep brakes are definitely good so the battery pack on this is a 17.2 kilowatt hour battery pack it uh, charges the full vehicle with a normal charger so it has a 3.3 uh, kilowatt uh, charger and it charges the vehicle within 7 to 8 hours from 0 to 100% in that uh, time uh if you want a faster charger you will obviously have to purchase it there is only one charger option available obviously you'll get it with the car or you will have to buy the wall box mount that the company officials will come and set it up at your place so yeah guys overall if you're looking for a car that is pretty spacious i mean when i say it is spacious it is genuinely spacious and this is coming from a person who's 61 so you can i mean i'm just giving a perspective so four people of my height can sit comfortably go the ac is fantastic and is definitely an eye catcher because people are just stopping us and asking us questions about this car it looks something out of the future so definitely go check out the mg comet so guys that was our take on the all new mg comet and as far as the prices go well it's not yet launched it but we are expecting that the company will uh, once it is launched uh, we are expecting the price to be somewhere between 10 to 12 lakh rupees ex showroom well, however that sounds a little expensive but the amount of features and quirkiness that you get with this car is just awesome well if you need to know anything else about this car please mention it on the comment section and we will get back to you on that until then i'm promit signing out see you next time thank you so much for watching take care be safe and drive safe